In this video, I'll show you how to open a verified PayPal account in Nigeria and other non-eligible countries. The PayPal account I will be showing you how to create in this video will both be able to receive money in dollars and also to spend and to send. And that's not all, you will also be able to use this PayPal to receive your money and withdraw either in US dollars or in Naira or any other currency without bothering yourself to open any domiciliary account if you're in Nigeria. Your money will be deposited right into your local bank account, your GT, your Access, UBA or whichever. And before the end of this video, I will also show you how to manage your PayPal account so that you will not get banned or even have any issues with PayPal. This is one of my PayPal accounts here and I have been using this account to receive and send money since 2016. I have never had a single issue with PayPal, so I usually get surprised when people say they have issue with PayPal all the time. If I come here and select 2023, because there's no option to choose other previous years for me to show you, but you can see all the activities that has taken place in this account within this period. Here are the monies I have received. And here are the money that I have sent out also, you can see them. I will not just show you how to create your own account, I will show you what you need to do so you don't get issues with PayPal and get your PayPal account banned. Make sure you watch every bit of this video. So to open a verified PayPal account from Nigeria or any other non-eligible country, open your browser and type in paypal.com and wait for it to load. If you are in a non-eligible country like Nigeria, for instance, this personal account option is the only PayPal option that you will see. What this means is that you can only open a personal PayPal account and for those of you that have opened your PayPal this way, you will discover that you cannot use such a PayPal account to receive money. You can only spend money with it, which doesn't make any sense. If you come here to the URL detail, you will notice that this is an NG here showing that it's a Nigerian paper. And if you're not Nigerian, if you check here also, you will also see the abbreviation for your own country. So you can only use it to send money and that does not make any sense and that is not what you want to do. So to be able to create a verified PayPal account that can both receive money, send money, get money into your local account, what you want to do here is to scroll down to the bottom of this page. So here you can see this green, white green icon here. Again, if you are not in Nigeria, you will also see the icon of your own country of residence here. So if you hover on this icon, you will see this, see all region and countries notification here. Click on this icon and it will bring you up to this page. If you scroll down, you will see all the regions and countries where PayPal is available. The problem is that not all of these regions can give you a PayPal account that can both receive and send funds. So if you already know any country that can do that, you can just search for it here. For example, many Nigerians love to use countries like Estonia, Lesotho, the United Arab Emirates, among others. So let me show you what to do here. If I come here at Africa and then trace Lesotho, here is it. I'll click it. Now you can see that it has taken me again to the account opening page for Lesotho but this time unlike we had for Nigeria where it was only the personal account option that was available, here you can see that in addition to personal accounts, we also have other options like the business account and the partner and developers account. Here, the business account is one that allows you to be able to receive money into your PayPal account and of course to also send money. So now, we can go ahead and begin our sign up process. So come here and click sign up for free. As you can see here, there are two types of account that you can create here. The personal account is picked by default but you want to select the business account instead. So I'll go ahead and do that and then click continue. Okay, so a create your account form is opened now. So we're going to fill that. So I'll go ahead and impute my first name here and then my last name. 
Here, if you're already used to PayPal, you would have known that the only credential that PayPal uses for your account is your email address. So come here and impute the email address that you want to use for your PayPal account here. Obviously, it has to be an email that is active, right? So here, you want to impute your password. Make sure that it's between 8 to 20 characters with upper and lower case letters and then a symbol or a number. Then tick the agree and create account button. So here you will be required to confirm this email address. So click the email you a code button. Here is my code which PayPal sent to my inbox almost immediately. So I will copy the code and then come in here and paste it. Submit. Let's wait for this to load. Activate your account to start using PayPal. Okay, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and also fill this form. So click the Let's Go button. What best describes your business? Please choose the individual for slash sole proprietor option here. I guess that's what applies to most people. Here, choose sole proprietorship, then click Next. Fill in your date of birth. Here, don't worry, just go ahead and select your country of residence. I will select Nigeria. Again, you will need to add your phone number. So go ahead and do that. Here, add your address. and then click the next button here tell us about your business here just tick the use your legal name for now i'll leave my option here at usd so here i'll just come over and type in random registration number here don't worry anything you put here will work What do you sell or what services do you offer just go ahead and add any relevant one here if you have a business website, then choose this option and add your business website URL. If you don't have, then choose the no option. I don't have one, so I'm going to choose the no option. Here, I will choose this option to use my previous address to make life easy for me. Again, click next. Here, click the drop down arrow and just choose your country. I will come in here and choose Nigeria. Submit. Congrats, you are all set. The only thing to do now is to go to your email inbox and click the confirmation link so that your account can be fully verified. And as you can see here, it's not yet verified. I didn't see the confirmation link in my email inbox, so I will ask that they resend it to me here. So here is it, I will click it, sign in again. And as you can see, this account is now fully verified. I can go ahead to start using this PayPal account to receive money from any website in the world into my own personal PayPal account from any country that I am either eligible or not. But before you jump off, there are two PayPal secrets that I want to share with you. Number one. I'll be publishing another video soon where I will show you how to convert your PayPal earning into Naira or any other local currency to withdraw so that you can withdraw your money into your local bank account. I don't mean a domiciliary account now. I mean your normal local bank account. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert bell so that YouTube can notify you when I release this video and other subsequent videos. Secondly, I need you to understand that you cannot trust PayPal 100% with your money. I have heard several people talk about how PayPal plays a ban or limit on their PayPal account. But like I told you earlier, I have been using my PayPal account for over 5 years now and I have never had any issue with PayPal, not even once. But these are some of the precautions I want you to take. 
Number one, don't use PayPal to withdraw large amounts of money. No way. Even if you're operating from an allowed country, PayPal seems to just suspect people when they have huge amounts of money sent into their account. So don't call unnecessary attention to yourself. If you know that your client or company you're working with will be sending you a huge amount of money, I strongly advise that you consider other payment systems. Number two, if you will be selling a service that a lot of persons will be buying from you within a short time, for example, maybe you're doing a product launch or you're running profitable ads to your product or service that several people will be buying within a short period of time. You might also have problems with PayPal. Again, my recommendation is that you use another payment system. And finally, if you want to be on the safest side, then you can use a strong VPN to open your PayPal account. You can take this to a deeper level by buying a working phone number of the country you want to use to open your PayPal account so that you can purely assume a position that you are resident in that country. Though personally, I don't use this method, but you might want to consider it and then add them with the other two precautions that I've already shared with you. If you do, your account will be secured and I believe that you will never have issues with your PayPal account. Guys, you have to like this video for this secret I just shared with you for free. Many trainers can charge you as much as 50k sharing some of this information. Finally, I have other videos where I show you how to connect your ATM card or your credit card or your bank to your PayPal account. The videos are currently displayed on your screen so make sure you check them out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.